Hello folks, welcome back. It is Francesco here and in today's feature we're actually going to be checking out an application or I guess the first ever sort of external application that has been launched by Zapier. Now for those who don't know, Zapier is a uh, automations company. They help to create connections between some applications you already use. Now as you can imagine, they are a remote team. They've been working remotely apparently for eight plus years with 300 employees across 17 time zones, um, as I just reading it here actually, um, 17 time zones. And naturally, as you can imagine, um, they've been working hard and learning what's wrong and uh, definitely what's right. So they've made this uh, sort of like extension for macOS available now just to state it's in early access. So it's not actually, you know, fine-tuned, I guess. Um, I've played around with it a little, but I uh, had no issues with it. Uh, nothing wrong with the stability. Um, just obviously they're stating it's early access. Now, essentially what it will allow you to do is share screenshots, GIFs, and also uh, annotate uh, anything. Uh, which is very helpful, and also short recordings too. So uh, all very useful. So you can access this up at the top right-hand corner in this menu bar, and uh, it works very similar to how Loom, uh, another screen recording technology, and also how Cloud App work. So you can see here that this sort of red button uh, or orange button comes up and you can go into settings if you want to and choose how you quickly want to access there if you don't necessarily want to go ahead and uh, access it up here every time. So once you press that button, you can share a bit of screen. So for example, uh, if I select it down here, you can see that that has been uh, selected uh, and you can actually move that around if you want to. Um, and you can right click uh, to show the menu. And that's because that bottom part is blocking out. If I had it up here, you could see that these menu buttons are available. So what's reason why this is useful is because teams um, typically find it hard to share stuff quite fast visually. Uh, working from home can sometimes obviously, you know, produce less things that you'd normally do in the office. So, for example, going over to each other's desk, maybe sharing a recording with um, someone and uh, even explaining something that can be tricky. So using annotations. So, for example, I might use an arrow to say, uh, do I want this one here? Uh, do I want this one there? Um, and it could be for a design uh, or absolutely anything. So annotation is part of this. You can add anything from um, images um, to a pen. Uh, if you're actually good at writing on screens, it could be through uh, your, obviously the bamboo. I know the pen works through that connection and some text as well. So uh, I could say, um, switch these around. So many people find this useful for actually um, web design as well. So that can be helpful for being able to leave some feedback for other people. Now, as you can imagine, uh, you can change any of the coloring of this from five color options and you can obfuscate things. Um, I'm not sure what that means. Oh, there we go. That's what it means. It means blocking it out. So that might be handy for, especially for when you're hiding uh, private information. So you can take the screenshot if you want to. So you can go up here and naturally find the image that you saved. Now, the one thing you can do is you can copy the file, open the file or show it in the finder and that will come through there, which means you can then save it into your downloads area. So that's how to do it um, in terms of offline. Um, they do have a pro plan and the pro plan is actually if you have a Zapier account. So for example, let me demonstrate again. If I were to actually um, take that screenshot of recording, it would actually create a URL automatically, very similar to how Loom and uh, how um, Cloud App do it, which is very helpful. So if I wanted to start recording or demonstrating something, um, I can go ahead and press start record. And uh, as you can imagine, if I go up to the top here, you can see that uh, it is a uh, two minute recording. Uh, so you get up to two minute on that free plan and naturally it gets saved uh, as a very basic QuickTime file. So it, it almost works as like, for example, you would use on your Mac, the, the basic quick capture stuff um, that is all pre-installed, but has a few abilities that allow you to, um, you know, go a bit further. 
And finally, they do have this uh, feature that allows you to pin something to your screen. Um, so pin screenshot. And you can see there that this screenshot's been pinned. I don't know if that's particularly useful. Maybe that's useful for when you're browsing around the web and you want to come back and see something there. I'm not actually sure why that's useful, um, but I'll try and have a little Google around. So this is actually available for free right now, and you've got all of that access there. And you can even access um, screen recordings with yourself uh, in the corner, um, and apparently includes audio annotations as well. So whenever I was doing that recording, it would record my audio, and uh, naturally, if you want to add video, you could as well. Now, this is where they have free cloud hosting with paid Zapier plans, and you can also stitch together um, to see the full picture of uh, other little bits of files that you've added. And here are a few examples of how that looks when you're using it with certain teams. And of course, um, you can paste it into the relevant places too. So that's where the cloud um, storage comes in. And uh, they're still early days apparently, so that could be uh, quite a neat uh, additions to the application coming soon. Anyway, folks, I hope you found that useful. Please do let me know what you think about it in the comments below, and I'll look to review it when it's a little bit further on and maybe talk through some of the features in more detail. Anyway, folks, thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye.